Frankfurt over here in Hillsborough. Taking a stroll. Where are we taking a stroll to? We're gonna go visit our little friends. We made the new Joel and Michael. Ricky's autistic skills are coming out. Good job. So we made it here to Anslerosh Bay Beach. We bought an old abandoned catamaran, spent two years rebuilding her, and embarked on a 7,000 mile journey across the Atlantic Ocean to our dream cruising grounds, the beautiful Caribbean. Subscribe below and follow the adventure as we explore our way up the Caribbean chain of islands to the beautiful Bahamas. After hanging out in Sandy Island for the last two days, we decided to head off to Hillsborough, which is the bay next door, to see the town and grab some fuel for our dinghy. We are also planning on moving the boat back to Tyrell Bay, where we arrived first when we got to Kariku, to say hi to our new friend Joel and Michael, and have a bit of a party for New Year's Eve. So I guess I should have known You said yourself you want to do this alone We just anchored over here in Hillsborough And we're gonna go do a fuel run now Because we tried the other day and we failed miserably Because it was a public holiday So me and Simone walked a super long distance And we didn't get fuel at the moment. Yeah, it's pretty low. Good morning. Hello. Uh, we're fine for today. Okay. But thank you so much. Thank you, you too. Thank you, you too. Likewise. Thank, thank you. you. We really enjoyed this little town. Everything was neat and clean and the people were super friendly. After grabbing some fuel, Ricky headed back to offload it on Lady Africa and we then went to catch a bus to take us to Tyrell Bay. The buses were pretty cheap and cost us two US dollars and fifty cents for the both of us. It's an easy way to get around if you don't feel like walking for an hour. Taking a stroll? Where are we taking a stroll to? We're gonna go visit our little friends. We made the new Joel and Michael. They're working on their boat. If you guys don't know them, they're called uh, bums on a boat. Hey, what's up? My name is Michael. This is Lola and this is Joel. We're bums on a boat. We've got a Carter 33 1974 monohull. And we're saying goodbye to Ricky and Simone. And we're also saying hello to the Slavs. What's up, guys? The Slavs? The Slavs. I'm confused. Sailing Lady Africa viewers. Oh. <laughs> oh. Come on, I, I'm sure I'm sure you guys knew what I was talking about, right? No, I just came up with that on the fly, you know. I'm always like I'm always coming up with off the cuff kind of things. That's that's what makes us bums on a boat. We're a little different than uh, yours truly here behind the camera filming us in that we're not really professionals. We're just out here winging it. Yep, our motto is travel by sailboat, learn by experience, because there's no better way to learn than just getting out there and going for it. So we got our little dog Lola when she was uh, three months old in Dominican Republic. We've sailed here from Florida, so we were talking to Ricky and Simone about their 7,000 mile crossing, and we were feeling kind of small, because we've been battling for like four years to get here in Karyaku. Um, but we left Florida and went against the trade winds all the way. So, although it seems very small compared to the epic crossing that these two did, it's still an accomplishment for us. Some hard fought miles. Yeah. yeah. So it's been a pleasure hanging out with Ricky and Simone and getting to tour sailing or Lady Africa. Yeah. Um, in person, what a great job! 
Ricky and Simone did on the boat. Oh, I think gosh. probably Ricky did sixty <laughs> percent no of the of the work maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Are you telling me? <laughs> I'm asking, I don't know. Maybe just just from because Ricky came on our boat, um, you can check that out in our episode. He comes and helps me problem mm -hmm. solve. Uh, we had a rudder issue. Yep. So we're currently on the hard and we're hoping to splash soon and we're gonna probably not catch up with these two. They're moving quick. We'll do our best to chase them down, but we'll see. I feel like it's gonna be a high and by and we'll have to keep in touch online because they're just moving quick. Um, but we can't wait to get back in the water and continue sailing. And uh, it's been a pleasure meeting Sailing Lady Africa in person. You can check the YouTube channel down below. Down below or linked up top. How's it been going? Are oh, you yes, so? Good news. <laughs> Good news, but we're still dropping the rudder. We've had a little had debate. A in the There's our new friends. Hello. Hey. hey. Yeah. And it's kind of jammed on the stuffing box. Oh yeah. Uh, so I'm just like playing with it, PB blaster, and making a mess. You loosen the stuffing box? Yeah, it's completely off. The and top still nut. Stuff? Yeah, the top nut is like stuck onto the rudder shaft. Oh. So I'm like, I'm able to wiggle it. And... But she's coming? She's coming. I, you it's know, like halfway out, it isn't it? Tough to get, tough to do this when when, I, when we hammered it down an inch, and yeah. then it, it didn't do that wiggle thing at all. That means you're not keyed all the way through. No, it's just the end part. Yeah, it's like two yeah, inches. Like but if you look up, some of them are stripped. Yeah, you might. had to use vice grips. You might need to get a vice grip for that. Vice grip? Vice yeah. grip. Okay, Alan has. Alan has, but I think I remember the Alan has with this. To see the end result of this, go check out Bums on a Boat's channel. I'll link it above and below as well. After helping him out, we headed off to the sip and paint. Ricky's autistic skills are coming out. Let's go, Joe. So, where did I grab it? Maybe they were tricked. Oh, look at you, artistic, yeah, yeah, yeah. huh? Yeah. Mixing all the colors together, blending. I studied painting for many years, you can see that here. Yeah? Yeah. 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 I'll Maybe. believe it. <laughs> You're also forced to paint your own house. <laughs> yeah, not only the house. His name. I can, can paint. I can paint. <laughs> Ricky thought our painting was on par with that of a toddler, but I thought we didn't do too bad for freehanding. We had moved the boat back to Tyrell Bay and got some boat projects done. We had a matcher that said, welcome aboard. And it, it always was like, why did we get rid of it? It's stinky because it was, it was getting stinky. that salt water on it all the time. salt water and like a sandy feet and just, it was just, and I know, so we ended up getting rid of it and now, I painted this before we went back to South Africa and then Terrible job. it rained and it made all these little marks on it. So now Ricky's going to redo it and he's going to put texture coat on it so it's not slip. Hun, I've just cleaned it. Oh, sorry, honey. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I haven't cleaned uh, it. And then uh, do that and then you're going to do it in our shower as well so I can get rid of the carpet. I'm going to do it here. I'll do it in the shower and do it on the top here where we adjust the halyards. And I'll do it up front by the anchor lockers and on the side here we walk down so we don't slip on those spots. Cool. It'll be good. So that's what it looks like after I've uh, trimmed it, cleaned it up. So I've used the 150 sand, sanding paper by hand and then uh, wiped it down with cloths and then denatured alcohol on top of that. 
I've done over here, I'll show you all the areas. There, over there, on the mast step. And up front there, we stand there quite a bit. And here, on the way down, we step here usually. You can't see the difference because it's white on white. It was the day before the new year, so we decided to catch a bus and head up north to Petite Carnage. This is a sweet spot. There's a bunch of little critters and lizards and birds in these trees because you just hear movement everywhere. We're out walking some trails on the north of the island, just took a bus to get up here and uh, we've got our walking shoes on, our flipper floppers. Simone's in a beautiful New Year's Eve dress. <laughs> She missed the the, the dress code. Check there. We're not hiking, we're walking. Yeah, we're not hiking. We're just taking a walk. But if anyone knows what a walk happens when you go with Ricky on a walk. Don't forget to subscribe below if you haven't already and click on the notification bell to alert you when we upload a new episode and like this video as well as share it with your friends and family. It's a free way you can support our channel. We're walking along the riverbed, so we know we're close to the ocean. Close to Ancelarache Bay. I think we've made it to the beach. They say it's been washed away a little bit. I see a boat. I hear people. <laughs> oh yes. So we made it here to Ancelarache Bay Beach and then Very nice. Lobster Tim was actually right next to it. So we came out to check out this little place. This is Lobster Tim. Yeah. yeah. We didn't know it was here though. Yeah, we thought it was one bay down. And I have a little juicy before we head back up that steep hill. Yeah, I'm just relaxing. So good. After our walk down to Ansloroche, we had to head back and catch a bus back to Lady African Tyrol Bay so we could prepare for the New Year's Eve festivities. Hey, hun, has the ocean been good to you today? It has. What are you having? I have a lobster. <laughs> Woo, yeah! I've been lobster for like how long since we got back to your neighborhood? Yeah. So. And then what happened? And then we got some. How did we get some? We dove for them. Oh, yeah! We found it eventually. Whereas, always what happens when you don't take the camera? You find that one little honey hole that has three bugs in the back there, and you're like, Come to mama. In this case, it was come to papa. Let's eat. Good morning, happy people. So, this morning we're getting ready to check out of Carrier Coop. So, we've got to go to the health facility, do a test. Then, we've got to get some fuel. Um, we just buy fuel here because. Uh, we heard that Union hasn't got fuel at the moment, but it probably does, but we're just going to get you and it's duty free. Yeah. That's a big plus. So we get fuel, we're going to refill the dive tanks and 
Then we'll do a check out this afternoon. Wind's gusting 20 to 30 knots today. So we're not leaving today. We're gonna to leave early tomorrow morning. Even though it's a really short sail, we feel like we're in a super comfortable anchorage. Why rush it? And um, we can get all the little boat projects done today. Because once we start heading up, we almost don't stop until we in St. Vincent. So we're gonna like kind of, the plan is to move like every day or every second day just move 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 and make our way up because there's so many there's quite a few islands and it could easily take quite a while to get all the way so we'll just do every second day we'll hop 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 and then check St. Vincent out and we're probably gonna skip St. Lucia we don't know yet but it's all just due to having to do another COVID test in and then another COVID test to get into the next island so because we've got to do so many COVID tests it kind of adds up with the cost, you know, every time you, it's $100 every single time you're doing it. And then, um, so there's two of us, it's $200. So it gets a little pricey, so we're going to avoid that for that one island. And yeah, that's it, but it's a beautiful day. There's the sun, nice and bright, anchorage, wonderful anchorage, especially if you're up front. There's an island, a landing. Um, yeah, if you're up front, it's really nice. In the back there, gets a little choppy and a little roly, but still pretty good. So what's nice about Tyrell Bay, or well, actually the whole of Karakou, it's very clean. You don't have to pay for your trash disposal, and you just can put them in one of these drums. And so yeah, that's really nice of them. Lock up the dinghy over there. We're good to go. Ready? Do our yeah, COVID. Let's start a clinic. So put it on your map. Just finished our COVID tests. Here's the center. That's what it looks like. Little, what is it called? Lister Health Clinic. Lister Health clinic. How was it? No, she was good. She didn't like... She didn't go it. down into the throat? Yeah, and it didn't go to my brain. So my brain is still... <laughs> I don't think it was a good test then. No, she went deep enough. Like, I could feel like it's... Only clear. when you feel it in your throat is it a good test. <coughs> but yeah, we're good to go now. My first time I got to Grenada and I had blood running down my throat. That was bad. No, we're good. So we'll wait for these results. Um, we'll check out either this afternoon or tomorrow morning. Someone says tomorrow morning. You heard the captain. Captain has spoken. Huh? I am the captain now. So we'll do that. And today we're going to go do diesel, tank refills, and. Well, you're going to do it because I can do this. We don't need anything else, do we? Um, Good to go. And then just say bye to our friend Joel Michael. Yeah. Here we are here. Oh, that's what we need. So, fuel docks are just over there. And it's pointless taking the boat. So I'm just going to run with these three jerry cans. And fill them up. And then we'll have more than enough fuel. But because it's tax free here, we save a little bit. So whenever we can save, we'll put some fuel. Good morning. How are you? Good, good. Can I get some diesel? Diesel. Yeah? yeah? Awesome. Okay, so we got fuel. That was 180 EC for 60 liters, I think. 60 liters of diesel and probably 5 liters of gas. And um, I had to go pay in the shop because they're not accepting cards here, but all good. Nice little setup that he's got. Like, they can't haul out cats here, but it looks like even a wide mono would, would come out, yeah. But, um, yeah, neat little setup. Got a little convenience store, nice little restaurant there. Seems like 
the customs office is there. It looks like everyone's having a really good breakfast. It smelled good at least. So just chilling, laying back, watching Instagram and browsing through videos. They go fat and sassy. Yeah, getting all <laughs> fat and sassy. I sit around and cook some soups and eat bread and desserts and just get all fat and sassy. Then my wife just reminds me I still got a task to do and go fill up our dive tanks. She's like, well, those tanks ain't gonna fill themselves. I'm like, oh shit, I thought I had the rest of the day off. But anyway, let, let's go do that. We gotta, we gotta go to the dive shop. There's a dive shop over there. And they got a dinghy dock and I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping they're open. Maybe we should give him a ring. Let's work smart on this. So we're off to check out of Karakou or out of Grenada to head off to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Whoop whoop. You excited babes? And uh, yeah, here at Karakou Marine, this is supposedly where you check out. Stay tuned till next week as we head off to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Don't forget to subscribe below if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up. See you guys next week.